All right, testing the shutter. Gonna let it warm up a little bit. Mm. Okay. In reverse. I will tell you guys. I'll tell the camera. When. Feel a shutter. So far, the transmission feels normal. It tends to happen at higher speeds. Okay, that was a good shift. to demonstrative speeds until, well, about 10 minutes. Who knows, it could occur before then. If it does, it uh, represents an increase in severity. The wife continues to report that all is normal. She has also taken it on the highway, but uh, her sensitivity to vehicular malfeasance is somewhat lessened as of late. So, so far, no problems. <laughs> Taking the famous right-hand turn. Oh, vehicle approaching, stand by. One, two, three cars, have to wait for. So on this road, we could potentially get up to 40, which may be at the beginning of the symptomatic. Let's see what happens. Smooth shift. Smooth shift. We've, we have a little, little bit of the wop, 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 wop in the drivetrain, but that's been there for years. That was a smooth shift. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the wop 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 in the in the drivetrain, like a truck. However, the transmission feels stable. And uh, then again, our speed, we didn't get up to sub-highway velocities, and that's where it occurred. So, we shall see. Da, 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 da. There's the main light. I looked at new car prices and slightly used prices, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 miles, and uh, the cost is uh, outrageous, you know? Sad to say, even if, even if I have to sink two grand or potentially more into this beast, it's cheaper than getting a newer car. Although I do realize that this is a Ford Escape and it is six years old, um, which is, for a Ford, it, it's basically elderly at this point. So, we will see how it goes here. So far, smooth shifts. Right, a little bit of road noise there. Drivetrain. Like something's rubbing that shouldn't, or there's some friction there that shouldn't be there. I can't rightly describe it, but it's not that concerning, it's just irritating. It's, uh, 
you know, the shifts are still good. Oh, 37 going through here. That's a 25 zone. shift there, but, so yeah, going up this hill, hold on, yeah, I'm going to have to say that's pretty normal, I mean, of course the chassis is rattling everywhere on these bumps, but my transmission concern alert did not go off right there. Right here, shutter, shutter. Yep, shuttering, going up this hill. It's it, it, like it uh, it chugs. I think, although the RPM stayed up, it, it's like it's in too low of a gear, and it's trying to shift but doesn't really go all the way. Something like that. So I can reproduce that. So if I'm going up a hill and I don't get aggressive with the accelerator... You know, like it's it'll shudder like that, but that's not too big of a deal because it's not under acceleration going up to highway speeds. We'll see. Stoplight, of course. somewhat aggressive here on the takeoff. All right. Smooth shifts.
like there's a little bit of shutter right there. I can reproduce this. So what happens is it upshifts and then there'll be a slight hill and I'll press the pedal shut uh, right there. Yeah, this is shuddering. Yup. Yup. Yeah. No, I don't even have to take it on the highway. This is bad news. So, if you accelerate up a hill, but not enough to downshift, the, uh, the tranny will shudder. I don't know if that's normal. Maybe it is. I don't know. Actually, yeah. If I, yeah, so, all right, so that was, uh, I pressed the pedal down to make it downshift. Oh, this is going to be a 12-minute commute. Must be a high-traffic day. I wonder if we'll pass. Should we pass work? Or maybe I'll just take it out for lunch. Yeah, why not? I'll take it out for lunch. Yeah, I gotta call the guy. All right. Going up a hill, reproduce. Ready? A little bit of gas, but not enough to shift. Kind of. Didn't really get it that time, but. All right. 